And the question really becomes, why? Why would I build extend my runway? Why would I zero in on neuroscience? Why would I zero in on digital nudging? Well, let's take a look. The context really is the, the, the major driver. And depending upon where you're sitting today, you may very well be in an aging society where people are living longer. But longevity is really the, the major contextual driver. What's basically happened is that in the 20th century, on average, we have gained 30 additional years of longevity. 30 additional years. And that's primarily because of physical health. So maybe we're exercising a little more, maybe we're eating a little more nutritious, but medical care has dramatically improved. Pharmacology is allowing people to take drugs and live longer. Need a blood thinner? We've got it for you. But all of this adds up to a longer life. Now let's put that longer life in the context of Asia. Singapore, where I am seated today, is the world's fastest aging society. We became an aged society, as you can see from this graph from UOB Bank, in 2018. So the, so the, the, the crossover happened from a youthful society to an aged society. And this basically raises some really important questions. If Singapore is aging, dramatically fast. What does that mean for people? What does that mean for organizations? What does that mean for HR and talent solutions? Okay, but Singapore is but one example. This data is from UNESCO looking at Greater Asia. Now, this is a beautiful example of what's happening in Singapore and in so many of our neighboring countries. When you look on the left at 1950, you can see the demographics, the, the population is shaped like a pyramid. We had more young people than old people. And that's the way societies have been for all of human history. 